Okay. Let's take a, a simple little task. I don't think there is another video on U-Boob like this. And uh, let's see if we can define what a photographer is. Oh, that's going to be hard. You can't do it. I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. Defining a photographer. Well, a photographer definitionally is anybody that has a camera in their hand. I have the camera. I'm a photographer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, technically you're a photographer. I have some real expensive gear. I have some people who accuse me. It's like, you got a bunch of gear, but you don't use it. Are you kidding me? Just because you see me sitting behind this goofy little desk, you think I'm not out there shooting? Yeah, well, you think whatever you want. Um, types of photographers, you know, it really is, since it is a visual art form, it is a, uh, a media, just like uh, artists that work with oils or, uh, you know, uh, other media, they get, there's some awesome artists out there, it's like, you know, they're never known until they die, if they're known at all. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of really awesome photographers, well, not a lot, but quite a few awesome photographers, and nobody's ever heard of them. And, uh, you know, they're out there doing their art for them, and, you know, they sell some works, or they don't, and, uh, you know, they're really good with light manipulation, but nobody's ever heard of them. What's their level of self-promotion? Um, oh, talk about famous photographers. I've met, back in photography school, some of the hardcore ones would come by, and, you know, they're really good. Um, most of them are really damn good. There's one guy, I mean, he knew m as much about the science of photography as, you know, uh, you know, the pimple on my butt. I mean, the guy had, like, four or five K1000 cameras and, like, four or five lenses. And, uh, he only shot, like, two different types of film. And, dude, he was famous and his work rocked. He knew how to squeeze every bit out of those simple-ass K1000 Pentaxes. And uh, I forget, his name escapes me, but he was a hardcore lover of the K1000. I don't know if he's still alive or not. Um, he was a famous photographer. Didn't know uh, hardly anything about this. I mean, you could ask him about, I mean, you were barking up the wrong tree if you were going to ask him about a good lens record. I mean, he didn't know, you know, half of them were like, they didn't know a damn thing about it. You know, they, they had a few lenses and they've tried out a few, but they didn't know. But what they had, boy, they could rock. I mean, they were like a... They were like a, a midget with a pocket full of hundred dollar bills in a in a uh, in a brothel. It's like they didn't have much, but boy, they really worked it right. Um, some famous photographers is uh, you know some of them are just uh, you know great at pimping stuff and self promotion, but nothing else. It's like they can take a halfway decent picture, and they're really good at who doing a lot of people. They might or may not have corporate sponsorship. And, you know, they're famous, and uh, people pay them a lot of money because they go, ah, they got a name around them. Oh, my God, that's so-and-so. Well, that's great. Um, there's some famous photographers that are highly esteemed, but are really crappy photographers. One of the most famous photographers, uh, one of them, I can't stand her artwork. Um, she photographs a lot of famous people. Her pictures are just, they're, they're just crap. I mean... You know, you could hate on me all you want, but her pictures just suck. But there are these intimate moments of, like, Hollywood and these famous people that you never get a glimpse of. And so her stuff, she's like a proctologist or something. She will uh, calm people down. It's like, I'm about to stick my finger up your butt, you know, like a proctologist. It's like, you got to bend over. You know, no one's going to do that, you know, to anybody but the proctologist. It's uh, so like, you know, I'm not doing that for you. You know, they're only going to do it for the doctor. So she's like a photography doctor. And there are several people like that that are doctors. You know, they will catch the moment or they uh, can disarm people. It's like, you know, I want you to like smear cocoa puffs all over your body and like uh, get in that tub full of uh, orange juice and I'm going to take some pictures of you, uh, Mr. Famous Person. Like, okay, because, you know. Every picture you take of other famous people is really loved, and I'll do anything for you. But their, you know, their photography sucks. I mean, it's unimaginative. The lighting isn't that great. I mean, they're blowing the highlights. Um, but they're really beloved. They make tons of money, and, you know, more power to them. You know, some famous photographers are uh, experts in their field, but... Uh, 
uh, they're not good photographers, but they're very good at teaching and helping other people. It's like, well, as long as it's useful, that's fine. Someone said, well, a professional photographer is someone that's making their living at photography. Does that mean a damn thing? There are people at the Sears Photography Studio, you know, taking pictures of the little rugrats. You know, they've got three pre-placed positions where the studio lights go, and they just take, like, three or four different um, illuminations and, like, 10 or 12 different poses, click, click, you know, Sears photographer. Well, he, that person's making their entire living off photography. And they, if you gave them a camera and a nice lens and a speed light and told them to go out and take some awesome shots, I mean, you know, they'd fall right on their face. Well, they're making most of their living from photography. They're making all of their living from photography. Does that make them a professional photographer? No. So, you know, the guy that's working at your local studio that knows how to do 10 poses really well, and knows how to set up the studio strobe about a dozen different ways. Does that make him a professional? No. A professional or expert photographer, someone who's an expert at composition and light manipulation. Actually, there's an additional factor to that that I mention quite often, is that that is someone that can actually see something the same way that you see it. you got two people here, they're looking at this piece of uh, driftwood, and it's like, well, that's kind of boring. And, uh, you know, I don't think I'll take a picture of that. And then you got the professional photographer that's going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to underexpose the background by three stops, and then I'm going to drop a speed light over here with a gel on it, and then I'm going to give it some beautiful incident light, and this thing is going to look beautiful. Wah! You know that dude that sold a picture of a potato? I mean, it wasn't even a good picture of a potato. He sold it for how many millions of dollars? He's famous. His name is... It doesn't mean he's a great photographer. It means that he schmoozed and, you know, he rubbed elbows with a lot of people. And uh, he may be a decent photographer. Um, but, you know, the only way that you're selling a picture of an ugly-ass potato covered in mud, and it's not even that good of a picture, I could do better than that myself. I mean, I damn well know I can. But I'm not going to sell any of my potato pictures for millions of bucks. It's about a name. Um... The same thing of other companies like, well, Zeiss has got their name on it, it must be good. That pisses me off. It's like, well, it's a Zeiss lens. Well, so what? Zeiss makes some crappy lenses. I got a lot of Zeiss lenses, and some of Zeiss lenses suck. I mean, they suck. So, you know, screw you, Zeiss. Zeiss makes some awesome lenses, but some of your lenses suck. It's the same thing of photographers. Um, so what does define a professional photographer? That's one of the real key things that really bring out the difference between a photographer and a real photographer, or a hardcore expert photographer, is they can see what is not there. It's half science, and it's half a creative, artistic um, vision. It's like you can't see, you know, you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm looking at the same, I don't see a picture there. And the other person's like, I do see a picture here. If I illuminate it this way, they don't even think like that. They meet up, boom. They know how to do it. It's like, this has got possibilities. It's like someone sees a block of wood. It's like, that's ugly. Someone throws it in the trash. Another person goes, I see a beautiful uh, statue in that. And they like uh, start to carving it. And it turns out to be like this beautiful figurine or something. And then they sell it for $1,000. The other person threw it away. He saw no potential. And the other person's eye, I see a lot of potential there. Boom. Instantly. Wow. That really, above and beyond an expert in composition and light manipulation, is someone who can see, they know. And this is something nobody talks about. You won't read any photography. This is a time machine. Are you hearing me? It's a time machine, bitch. It ain't what your eyeballs are seeing. What this thing can see and what you can see are two different things. It's a time machine. Ah, there's a shutter speed up there. Time machine. Aperture. Depth of field. It's not what your eyeballs are seeing. When you can start seeing like your camera in potential, you can see what is potentially there instead of what is that. What do you see? That's just an ugly lump of wood. That's ugly. My, my grandma threw that out in the garbage yesterday. Yeah, I pulled that out of the garbage because I see a lot of potential. I'm going to use this for some neat stuff. Oh, you're crazy. What are you smoking? Potential. What is potentially there is not as actually there. A camera is a potentiometer. Oh, that's funny, a potentiometer. It sees what is potentially there. It doesn't see... It. If you only take pictures um, 
of what is there, then you are taking pictures. You are not making it. It's like, I see this, I, snap. I see that, snap. I see this, snap. You are taking pictures. And what are you doing, girlfriend? I'm making pictures. I can see what is potentially there with this machine that has potential. If you use this camera like a point and shit, clack, clack, hey, uh, and you're an idiot. Or at least you're on the road to not being an idiot. You know, it's okay to be an idiot if you're on the path. It's perfectly fine to be an idiot. Um, it's the person that's an idiot that thinks, I've reached the top of the mountain. It's now it's like, you're at the bottom. You know, you need to work your way up here. No, no, I'm doing fine down here. That person's really the idiot. So what actually sets out a true photographer is not only a person expert in composition and light manipulation, but a person that has instant vision of potential. A vision of potential. Potentiality versus actuality. If you deal in actuality, as you perceive it with your stupid little senses, then you're going to be taking pictures. Clack, clack. If you see what is potentially there, and you manifest it like a magician, it's like, wah, speed light. Uh, negative two, uh, exposure comp. You know, uh, I'm going to do a zoom and a time exp all sorts of freaky stuff. And then you're dealing in what is potentially there. And that is what is going to separate you from everybody else. And that is what is going to make you a real photographer. Well, I got a camera. I'm a photographer. No, you're an asshole with a camera. Oh, what's the difference? I got a camera. Ah. No, you're an asshole with a It's really expensive, though. You know, I can do the same thing you can. No, you can't. You can only see what you perceive. Perception is not reality. Photography is all about lying. I don't mean about lying to people. I mean about lying in general. You know. Well, this guy took a picture of the same thing I took a picture of. His picture won awards, and he sells it, but nobody wants to even see my picture. It's the same thing. I took a picture of this, and he took it. No, he took a picture of uh, what he saw up here. And you took a picture... He actually made a picture of what he saw up here. Correction. And you actually took a picture of what you perceived right here with your peepers. Okay. Take a picture here via perception or make a picture here via potential. Most important tool in photography is something that cannot be held, cannot be manifest, except through expression. This is the art versus the artifice. Art artifice art artifice cosmos thetitos cosmos nuitos cosmos nuitos cosmos athitos deal in one or the other or both those who are master of both are the real photographers so it's certainly not about how much money you're making doing it and uh, there are a lot of famous photographers that are really not good photographers. Well, they're really famous. They're making a lot of money. They, they're famous and you're not. And they're making money and you're not. That doesn't mean they're good photographers. It just means they're good pitchmen like a used car salesman. You know? There's a few, more than a few actually, famous photographers that you just, they take crap pictures. Their pictures suck. But they're really, really good at schmoozing people and doing other things. You know, they may be trying to improve their skills. Some are not. Who cares, you know, as long as they're happy and making money. You know, there's nothing wrong with being rich and having fame and all that stuff. I mean, that's it's like, what else do I need? I'm rich and I'm famous. Yeah, but you're still a crappy photographer. Well, so what? I'll, you know, everybody knows my name. They don't know your name. Well, that's good. I'm glad you've, uh, you've settled, you know. Always try to improve your skills. Life is short, though. Doing that's uh, easier said than done, of course, obviously so. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Lux Iveritas. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Or you can tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever tickles your pickle. Uh, I'll catch you later. Uvidimsya, as the Russians would say. Do svidanya, uvidimsya. Bye, Charles. Bye,
کجا آفتن 